Tesla just announced some bad news for owners all around the world. They are removing lots of features in 2024, and Tesla owners, to put it lightly, are absolutely furious. Plus, Tesla just released some brand new colors, but more surprise new colors could be coming very soon. I've got the latest updates you need to know about Model Y Juniper, and brand new Teslas might be launching as soon as today. Yes, as you watch this video, new Teslas might be out right now with some pretty cool new features. Let me tell you everything you need to know about Tesla news right now. Okay, so where should we begin in this video? Should we talk about the good news or the bad news? Let's start with the bad news first. We should probably address the controversy going on in the Tesla world right now, as Tesla has continued to come under fire for a lot of things. And one of the big ones lately is that they're potentially being overly generous or inflating their range numbers on their website and now have been forced to course correct. Last week, Tesla made an important update on their website to reflect some all new EPA estimated range numbers for most of their models. Model X, Model S, Model Y all saw some changes in range. Some of those particular models stayed the same like the Model Y rear wheel drive. I don't think those numbers changed at all, but you can see here I've got a graph on screen. The Model Y long range and performance, for example, saw some pretty big drops in their estimated range that Tesla is calling out on their website. Now, the official reason that Tesla changed these figures was to comply with some new EPA uh, testing standards. Some things changed in the new year, so Tesla had to update those figures to be as accurate as possible, so that's why we saw some changes in range. But I should also mention that there have been some reports that have come out that Tesla is not accurately reporting their best guess on estimated range for their vehicles, that they're being a little bit too generous with the estimated range, and then own in their real world experience see their cars falling short of what Tesla is promising, both in what's on the website and like the real world calculations being done in the computer system on the car. Now, to Tesla's defense, the cars are constantly sort of calculating different things based off of different uh, variables. It's temperature, it's elevation, it's speed, driving habits, there's a lot that goes into it. And um, I don't think Tesla was making this change just to address those uh, criticisms and critiques, but I will say for those who have been curious about Tesla's range numbers, they've now been updated on the website and hopefully are a bit more in line with what you'll actually find as you drive your car. Have you guys noticed a big discrepancy in what Tesla advertises the range is and what your real world range is? Let me know in the comments down below. But the removal of some of those range miles isn't the only thing going away this year, as Tesla has also removed another new feature in the US, which is very odd. I don't really know why they're doing this, but some customers have loved this. That is the creep and the roll feature. These were two stopping modes available for Teslas for years, at least here in North America, that are now going away. And for those unfamiliar, these different modes were sort of set to mimic a traditional internal combustion engine car in a Tesla. So for example, when you would stop instead of sort of stopping and hold, which most of us do, creep would sort of slowly creep the car forward and you could put your foot on the brake to stop it and roll would sort of roll the car forward. Basically, if you were not used to such an abrupt stopping motion, like we have in EVs that was sort of meant to compensate for that. But now Tesla has given those the X and getting rid of them for cars in the US. And speaking of removing features, what's also set to happen in 2024 is that Tesla is going to remove some standard features on their vehicles, specifically the Model Y standard range and the Model 3 standard range are going to lose the ability to have uh, heated wipers, heated seats in the front and heated seats in the back unless you're willing to pay extra money to unlock these features. Basically, their software locked down. Now, this isn't totally out of left field. Tesla has been known for doing this in the past. In fact, my very first Tesla, the Model 3 Standard Range Plus, had rear heated seats locked by software. I had to pay $300 if I wanted to unlock them. And it's not exactly clear why Tesla is doing this, probably in an effort to get more money. But if you're someone who doesn't use those features by default, might not be too bad of a value proposition to get a little bit of extra money, hopefully back in your pocket, not pay for features you wouldn't use. Though I should say, like, front heated seats which is a very basic feature for all models of cars and especially cars of these prices in 2024, to have that software locked is sort of ridiculous. And again, this hasn't happened just yet. This is apparently coming from leaked code from a very reliable Tesla uh, hacker slash insider. So it seems to be coming very soon, uh, but those features will be going away on these standard arranged Teslas uh, probably very soon, sooner than later. 
We're also learning that Tesla is downgrading the audio system in the standard range Model Y. Similar to that of the standard range Model 3, Tesla doesn't have a full audio system. They don't have the same amount of speakers, nor do they have the subwoofer that you can find in the long range or performance versions. And for a while, you could sort of get away with a little secret there by getting the cheapest Model Y, but still getting a kick in uh, full fledged sound system. But that is no longer the case, as we're now learning that Tesla has removed the premium sound system for that vehicle as well, and um, just has now a bass sound system that still sounds decent, but no subwoofer and missing a lot of speakers. Okay, so moving away from the bad news, getting into the good news for this video, there are some pretty exciting things to talk about, including some rumors that point to a brand new launch of all new Teslas coming as soon as this week, like today. Like as you're watching this video, some brand new Teslas may be out. First is some news of a new feature coming to Teslas or new package. Tesla Insider Green, the only, did some digging in a Tesla code, which oftentimes, more often than not, is usually right on the money with stuff coming soon, and found that Tesla is working to launch a new efficiency package. We don't exactly know what an efficiency package is. Does this mean more aerodynamic packages you could sort of customize with your Tesla? Is it new wheels? Is it something else? We don't exactly know what that is, but it also appears to signal the internal lingo, for lack of a better word, for a year-over-year -year shift. So what this seems to signal is that Tesla will officially switch over from making 2023 vehicles to 2024 vehicles, and with that shift to 2024, might bring a couple of big new features. Now, to be clear, Tesla doesn't follow the practice of other automakers by making or reserving all their features for model years. So they don't go from 2023 to 2024 to this or that. They make improvements all the time. But what we have seen Tesla uh, do over the last couple of years is they have made some pretty big improvements when they switch VINs from 2023 to 2024, whatever the model year is. And it seems like as of right now, the 2024 model year vehicles not only may have a new efficiency package, but will also pack the RGB ambient lighting and also the front bumper camera. Specifically, if we look at the Model S and Model X, for example, Tesla has actually just sent out some emails to customers who have these vehicles on order, warning them, or I guess should say instructing them to confirm their order because some changes are going to happen. And many think that the change that's going to happen is the addition of three new features coming to Model S and Model X. One is the aforementioned RGB ambient lighting. This is a big deal with Tesla vehicles these days. That should be coming. A front bumper camera is finally coming. This will be the first time it comes uh, beyond the Cybertruck. So Model S and Model X should get this. And also finally at long last, a mechanical horn. Basically, if you didn't know, uh, honking the horn in an S or an X is not as easy as pressing the horn. You have to press a specific button, but that should be fixed with this new refresh coming with probably this new 2024 VIN structure. I'm also curious to see if Tesla's gonna bring some other changes from Cybertruck over to the Model S and Model X. For example, we have like physical clicky buttons on the Cybertruck wheel. I wonder if that's gonna come to the yoke and replace the touch sensitive buttons. Also the larger rear screen. Uh, you've got uh, the bigger screen in the Cybertruck that's bigger than the S and the X. Could that be coming to those vehicles? We don't know as of right now. And also the Model Y. This is also very interesting too. Tesla just released some new colors for the Model Y, which is very cool but uh, it's being reported that some owners from the Model Y who have orders placed are also getting this email, and I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if Tesla also brings some features to the Model Y with this 2024 switchover. Now, we know the big Model Y Juniper refresh is coming soon, but what we've seen from Tesla in China is that they're bringing the RGB ambient lighting and a new dashboard into Model Ys right now. And this might make sense to sort of give us as a stopgap update to make the Model Y a bit more appealing, especially with those new outside colors. And the reason I suggest these could be coming very soon, like today, is because Tesla points to a date of January 10th in their email, like the owners have to confirm they want to move forward with the order by January 10th, uh, which is a Wednesday, and Tesla is known on Thursdays for making pretty big refreshes. I don't know why this is, but usually Tesla makes big changes on Thursdays, like Thursday nights. So January 11th could be the silent or not so silent launch of these new 2024 refreshes for Model S, Model X, and maybe even on Model Y as well. Not sure if it's going to happen for sure, but if history has taught us anything, Tesla tends to make these changes uh, on these Thursdays. So uh, be on the lookout for that, and hopefully we know more very soon. 
I should also probably address the elephant in the room, though I'm not in my normal studio. I've got to talk about breaking news, and that is that the Model 3 Highland, the new upgraded Model 3, is now available here in North America. There's not a whole lot to say here. I'll do a deeper dive into a separate video in a couple of days. Um, but basically, all of the RGB ambient lighting, the new design, the quieter cabin, all of that is now here in the US. You can order it right now. Comes in a standard range and long range version. Also available in the beautiful ultra red and self gray, similar to that on the Model Y. And also probably the most surprising thing here is that pricing did not change. Yes, pricing is the same for this new Model 3 as it was for the older Model 3, though, again, you're still gonna be missing any federal incentives for those vehicles. And also as of right now, Tesla has removed the performance Model 3 as the Highland Model 3, you know, ludicrous mode performance trim doesn't appear to be ready just yet. So good news is that new Model 3 is here. You can order it now, should be shipping in January or February. And um, performance Model 3 is out. TB, or I should say not out, TBD is out of the running right now, out of the lineup, and hopefully we learn more about that soon, but I'll have more details on that in another video soon. I've also got a weird update with Model Y colors. If you missed the news, Tesla just launched two brand new colors for the Model Y in the US, finally. Stealth Gray and Ultra Red are finally here. Stealth Gray is a sort of built-in uh, freebie option uh, for a Model Y. Ultra Red is $2,000. And many have asked if we could ever see Quicksilver, this beautiful color that's available in Europe over here in the US. The official answer from Tesla is no, because as of what we know right now, only Giga Berlin can make that color. But we just did see a Quicksilver Model Y spotted at Giga Texas over the last couple of days, which has some speculating that maybe Quicksilver could be coming as well as an option here in the US. I can't comment one way or the other in saying it's gonna happen or not, uh, but I definitely think that Tesla is getting some pressure to increase their uh, paint shop capabilities and their um, uh, tools and materials and their, well, I guess you should say capabilities here in the US to bring us some new colors. So maybe Quicksilver comes as another new option here for the Tesla Model Y, hopefully very soon. And last but certainly not least, just to give you an update on what we know about Model Y Juniper, um, we know that uh, Model Y Juniper mass production may be starting in China as soon as the first half of this year, I should say the middle uh, of this year is when production should begin. And it's gonna follow the Model 3 Highland design very closely, gonna give you a new sound system, new interior upgrades, new design, lots of great stuff, maybe even some new wheels as well, new performance model. So I'm curious, what are your thoughts on the news of the week? Your thoughts on the Model Y refresh? Do you think we'll get some 2024 Model S's, X's, maybe Model Y's this week? Do you think maybe the Model 3 refresh Highland is gonna be a, a surprise launch for the week? And your thoughts on Tesla removing features? Very bad, I am against it. And I'm curious to know your thoughts. Let me know down below. I wanna give a big thanks to you guys so much for your support. I appreciate you so much. And if you stuck around to the end, can you just go ahead and do me a favor and do three things? One, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and drop a comment down below and let me know if you subscribe to my newsletter. I have a free newsletter, no ad here, it's free. It's my own thing. Actually, I run it with my wife, so it's like a family thing. Uh, my wife and I work on it together. It's called Tesla News Weekly, and we break down the Tesla news of the week every single week. It's gonna go out, uh, we were doing Thursdays, but we're gonna switch over to Friday mornings in 2024, give you a little recap of the week, some insights and behind the scenes into my videos, and a chance for me to dive in and answer some questions that I can't do on this channel all the time. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing to that, it'd be great, link it to that is down below, and drop me a comment and let me know if you subscribed, or if you hate my newsletter, tell me why in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to fix it so you can be happy and subscribe. In all seriousness though, guys, I appreciate your support. Thank you as always. I'm Robert Rosenfeld. Thanks for uh, learning about some Tesla news in this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.